What's up guys, DevBird here, and today I'll be teaching you all about DevBird's Dialog Maker on the Unity Asset Store, link in the description below. Here I have a fresh Unity project with Dialog Maker imported. The first thing you'll want to do is to navigate to the Tools tab and under Dialog Maker, select the Setup Wizard. Click Setup UI and it'll import the Dialog Maker prefab into your scene. If you don't have Text Mesh Pro, it'll ask you to import it, which is required for Dialog Maker. Now let's head over and select the Locate Settings button. The Settings asset will be pinged, and here we can tweak a bunch of settings, but for this demo, I'll only be filling out the dialog box, the next button, and the nameplate. The next step is to open the Character Creator and create a character. The two important bits are the default portrait and the name of the character which doubles as the file name. The main feature of the Character Creator is the unlimited custom portraits. Click Add New Portrait and set the sprite and fill out the name. For now, I'll quickly fill this part out and I'll create a secondary character to converse with. Make sure to hit Save Character once you're finished. Now we can look at the Dialog Creator in the Tools tab. Here, the first thing you'll want to do is add your character to the Dialog Graph. Once you've loaded your characters, we can start making Dialog. To create a node, right-click anywhere on the graph and select Create Node. A menu will appear with all the different nodes to choose from. Let's start with the dialog node. Select the character you want to speak and their portrait. Next, you can set an optional voice line to play and set the dialog text here. Now I'm going to quickly create another dialog node for the other character to talk to. Now we can connect the dialog nodes together by clicking and dragging the input ports to the output ports. Make sure that there's a connection to the start node so the graph knows where to start. The start node also allows you to set the default background and the default music. For this demo, I'm only going to set the default background. Now, if you look in the upper left corner, we can set the file name and hit save. With that, we have our first dialog asset. Now, I'll show you how to trigger the dialog in your code. Let's open up a new C -sharp script and call it trigger dialog start. We won't be needing the update function, so I'll be removing that. I'll also want to be using dialog maker engine. Now, Let's create a public variable called graph data container and call it dialog. This is going to reference that dialog asset we created. Next, let's call dialog maker dot trigger dialog in the start and pass the dialog variable. With that, we can now close the script. Let's create an empty game object and drag and drop the new script. Let's now assign the dialog field and hit start. With just that, we've created our first functional dialog using Dialog Maker. That's all it takes to start making dialog. If you want to explore more features, make sure to check out my channel for more information on Dialog Maker. If you want any new features, comment below.